Good morning, good people out there in Facebook land. Just wanted to come and intercede on your behalf. I'm Brother Justin Boren, and I love Jesus. And I'm a son of God, and I'm a brother to many. And I just want to share with you here at 1029 on Monday morning that God loves you. God loves you. God loves you despite yourself. In fact, you are perfect. You were made perfect in His image. And He loves you with an agape love that's immeasurable. You know, He sent His Son, Himself, and the Omnipotent, both 100% man and 100% God, to die for us. He was a miraculous conception, born of swaddling clothes. The Magi left a year and a half out in the desert to come and see the Son of God, and they brought him frankincense and myrrh. This was embalming fluid that was used during this time. You see, 2,000 years ago, whenever he walked the walk, and he talked the talk, and he came to pay for our sins, both past, present, and future, he knew that he was born to die. It's because of the life that he lived, the testament of true grace kingdom, and the price that he paid for you and I that we can practice, we can believe, we can be great men and women of faith, we can walk with holy boldness because of the price that he paid for us. Every individual has a predestined master plan, both believer and not, in Christ Jesus. And what's so awesome about that is that we all have a receipt in cross. We are all born of the same blood, the same mud. We all fall short at the foot of the cross. And just like me, good people, I strayed and I strayed hard. I made the prodigal son look like a PK. My goodness. But he got a hold of me. I caught it. He wrapped me up in his big old arms. And he told me that I was special, that he loved me, and that my past no longer mattered because it's not about my past. It's about him. It's not about me. I'm living on his report card. He did it perfectly. Now is the third season of revival, good people. Now is the time to be counted, more now than ever. If you are of like-mindedness, if you're on the fence, it's time to wake up. It's time to get shook up. It's time to bake fresh bread and keep it fresh and renew your mind and renew yourself in the Word of God and rest in the Spirit and allow Him to love back on you as you love on Him. You see, our joy is His greatest joy. That's how you walk in Jesus' peace. That's how you live the plight of Christ in your life. It's not about being perfect. Only he was. But the goal is Christ's likeness. The goal is to get as many as we can across that goal line with us. So that way we may celebrate one another in like-mindedness in the next life, the eternal life. The reward of our Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Revelation 3.20 says, Do you hear me knocking on the door of your heart? And if you choose to let me in, I will sit down and eat with you, and you with me. Let's all take a big old bite today of that fresh bread. God bless you. I love you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.